This is HP ProBook G7 and today we're going to enable the USB boot due to reinstall Windows 10. So first of all, we should have one bootable Windows 10 or 11 thumb drive. Make sure you connect it, connect the charger and then we're going to get into BIOS and change a couple of major settings for correct boot settings. So press down the power button to switch off if this is on. Once it completely switched off, then we're going to press back the power button again to turn it on and straight away we're going to come back to F10 and keep pressing until we see the BIOS screen. So there are a few sections as you can see on the BIOS, main security advanced EEFI, but we need to get into security section because in the main section there is almost nothing about USB boot settings. So press the right arrow to get into security and it's going to be highlighted into black color. And now from here, I need to find out where is the TPM because TPM is more related to UEFI. So we're going to find right there the security configuration and we can click with the mouse. We can see the TPM device is available. In case if you would like to install Windows 11, you must have to turn it on, I mean available. And then we're going to get into advanced option from here as you can see it says boot option then secure boot configuration from here make sure the usb storage boot is enabled or ticked mark on it and if you go at the bottom we can see our bootable windows 10 thumb drive is going to show in the list usb as you can see and we're going to save that and press to the back arrow and now from here secure boot configuration there are a few options as you can see but we're going to choose the UEFI one which is the middle one so for UEFI legacy support has to be disabled and secure boot has to be enabled so let's choose the middle one and pretty much that's all you know and then we can go back to the main section and we can save the settings and exit the bio screen by clicking into it press yes to save it and now we're going to keep pressing f9 to get into temporary boot option for other brands of laptop it comes with f12 button so when you press the f12 it takes you to temporary boot option but for hp f9 so now the top one is my usb i'm going to highlight it and hit enter so now the actual system going to start up from the USB stick. So if you do have Windows 10 into your USB, it's going to load up the Windows 10 setup page. And if that is Windows 11, it's going to show you Windows 11. You know, there are one thing I must need to mention. If your USB thumb drive is not created properly, I mean, about the legacy and UEFI, then you're gonna mix up the actual boot system and that might be failure and you can't finish the setup. So if you would like to install in UEFI, make sure you create the bootable thumb drive in correct way. You can use the Rofos, one of the good program to create any bootable Windows 10 or 11 thumb drive, either in legacy format or in UEFI format. By the way, from here, we're going to accept the terms and condition and hit next. Then we're going to go for the bottom option, which is called custom. And recently I upgraded from HDD to SSD. Now I am installing new fresh windows into my new SSD.